So crew scheduling called and I have been at the airport since 8 a.m. I'm supposed to be done at 1 p.m. off airport standby. And they just called and scheduled me for a three-day trip that starts at, okay, the flight leaves at 3.20 today. So I've been here for a while. I was so close to going home, but we're starting a three-day trip. Here we go. All right, my flight is in about an hour and my plane just got here. So I'm gonna pack up and I'm gonna head over to my plane and get situated, meet my crew. We are headed to Medford. my crew and I'll check in when I get back upstairs. All right, hello guys. I just got back to my room. I just got back from dinner. I went out with my crew, little street tacos and some margaritas. And that was really fun because I, like, we don't really go out with each other very often. Like we don't really get to hang out with our crews, especially being on reserve, I feel like. I get thrown around so much with different crews or being on PM, you don't really get to go out as much because you're getting in at midnight and unless you have like a super long layover the next day, it's not enough time. Most of the time it doesn't work out, but, and I wasn't even gonna go because I packed food, but I'm really glad that I went. It was a lot of fun and it's good to just laugh and hang out and get out of my room. And now I'm to bed pretty soon, start getting ready. It's literally not even seven o'clock yet, but. My van pickup time is at 3.55 a.m. And that's gonna be rough for me because y'all know that I'm on p.m. Usually I land at like midnight, go to bed at like two in the morning. And so waking up at three in the morning is gonna be difficult for my body. It was already kind of hard waking up at 6 a.m. today because usually I sleep until like nine or 10 a.m. Just because that's what my body clock is used to. I sat airport, so I, I don't know if I really shared, but I sat airport standby from 8 a.m. until 2.30 pretty much. I was scheduled from 8 a.m. till 1 o'clock and then I got a call from crew scheduling at around 11 30 12 that they had a three-day trip for me so I know it's kind of quiet in the airport. There was a lot of people around me so I was trying to be respectful of them. I got a three-day trip. I really thought I was gonna get to go home today so I was kind of bummed out and it's just hard when you our shifts for airport are five hours and so sitting for six plus hours and then having to go fly is kind of a long day. It just makes the day drag on, but I just had one flight. So I'm in Medford right now. We have a van pickup time at 3.55 tomorrow morning and we're going from Medford back to Seattle. But the flight over here was good. I worked in the back. I'm working with a pretty senior flight attendant. She's super funny and really cool though. I'm really enjoying her. And I have a female pilot and she's also really cool. She's only a few years older than me and it's just really nice to see other females that are my age and especially in like the pilot industry it's even less common and so it's just really cool to it was cool to connect with her and it was really nice to hang out but i'm gonna go call my man and check in with him spend some time with him get into my pajamas wash my face brush my teeth and literally probably crawl in bed for the night and get up ready get ready to get up super early in the morning so that's all i got i will catch you guys bright-eyed and bushy-tailed in the morning good night It is 3 a.m., you guys. And I don't think anybody should be awake at this time. <laughs> All right, heading down to my van. All right, I made it to my plane. I'm working in the back again. I just finished my pre-flight. I'm gonna get my cart set up so that when we get up in the air, I'll be ready to go. And we are headed back to Seattle this morning. So we landed in Seattle. It was a pretty easy ride. It was like an hour over here from Medford. And I did a full service in the back. A lot of people were sleeping. So it was really quiet, really mellow because it was so early. We've got about 30, 35 minutes until our next flight boards. We are headed to Pasco and I don't do a service because that flight is so short. We're literally going Pasco, back to Seattle and then back to Pasco and then I'm done for the day. So three more flights to go. 
I just ate some breakfast. I got a grab and go. Sometimes the hotels will give you a little grab and go uh, breakfast kit. And so we got to sit at like, they had a little like checklist yesterday when we checked in that we got to mark what we wanted. So I got a little yogurt and a mini muffin and a banana. And I also grabbed a plain bagel and cream cheese. I'm not gonna eat that right now, but I just wanted the extra food just to have it. So I just got a little bit of breakfast in me. I got a cup of coffee on my first flight and I brought my Kindle. I'm reading a new book I just started and I'm reading a fiction. It's called The American Roommate Project, I believe, or something like that. American Roommate. Yeah, I'll have to I'll have to double check if that's the right one, but I just started reading it this morning on my last flight after I was done with my service and I'll probably just read it while I sit in the jump seat for the next three flights. So I'm gonna sit here, drink some water, hang out, and read my book and we'll head out in just a little bit. It's really cold here. The flight was 30 minutes. I literally just sat and read my new book on my little Kindle and I'm gonna sit here. I'm just like super tired. My body is falling apart a little bit. This is just the hard part about having trips where you, we call it a circadian swap, where I'm used to landing at midnight and like sleeping until 10 a.m. And so having to get up at three in the morning and do four flights is kind of a lot, but we got like 30 minutes until our next flight boards. We're just headed back to Seattle. I think it's going to be even shorter than 30 minutes this time is what the captain said. So I'll double check with her, but just staying seated again. So two out of four done and trying to make it. It's rough, but we're good. Really me. <laughs> to go and um, we had a plane swap and we had a little bit of time before our plane got here like 20 minutes so me and my other flight attendant just ran into the crew room i had a bagel and cream cheese from my grab and go breakfast bag this morning that i didn't have a chance to eat so i just toasted that in the crew room ate that really quick and then we just headed out we have one more flight we're headed right back to pasco so it's a 30 minute flight i'm sitting in the back again just finished my pre-flight we're gonna start boarding here shortly and then da -da 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 -da. that's my other flight attendant doing her pa check also, we're flying the pretty purple plane, which is like my favorite because one of our newer ones and, and it says go dogs in big letters and it's an all purple plane and my captain and my other flight attendant are both alumni. So they're very excited to be on this plane. I'm a little indifferent. I just like the pretty purple color on the plane, but it is fun to fly this one. All right, I just got to my hotel room in Pasco and I need a nap. So I'll talk to you guys after. <laughs> This is the best part of the day, is getting to crawl in bed. I love it so much. Okay, it's my dreams. So I took a nap for like two and a half hours. When I got to my hotel, Damon and I were gonna take a nap together because he got up super early. And then he ended up having to go to work for a little bit. And so I called him and checked in when I crawled in bed and then he was gonna call me when he got home and he called me 16 times, you guys, and I didn't wake up once, didn't hear any of it. I don't know if it went off or my phone just didn't, I don't know. I don't know what happened, but I slept for two and a half hours. I was not manning to sleep for that long because I wanna go to bed early tonight, but that's okay. I woke up, Dave and I finished a movie 
and I'm just heating up some food. I have some rice with some ground turkey and white beans and corn and some green salsa. I'm gonna run down to the lobby and get like a Gatorade or Powerade or something to drink with it and maybe a little bag of chips because that's what I'm wanting to eat with it. And then I think we're gonna start another movie and hang out for a little bit because he has to go to work all night. And I'm gonna go to bed in a couple of hours again. I think I have some melatonin I'm gonna try to take, but yeah, I just, these early mornings after my body is used to complete opposite sleep schedule is super difficult on my body. And I just feel like a freaking walking zombie. It's crazy, but we're doing the best we can. So I'm gonna get some food. I'm gonna hydrate a little bit and start a little movie. I might go to the gym and do a little walk on the treadmill and just stretch my body just to kind of help with me sleeping after. But I'll let you guys know what I am doing. I'll check in later, bye. All right. I just got upstairs and when I went down to the little like snack shack, I got some Doritos, I got a Powerade for some hydration and they had freeze dried snacks. It was seven bucks for, it says rainbow funny cluster puffs, but I think they're like nerd cluster, freeze dried nerd clusters. And I've had like freeze dried Skittles and other snacks and it just sounded good. Do I need this? No, they asked me, do we charge to your room? And I was like, I would love to, but I don't think my airline would appreciate that. So I'm going to heat up my food. I'm going to call my man back. We're going to watch a little bit of TV and then I'll check in after that. But I had to show you guys these. All right, I have literally been lounging and laying in bed pretty much the whole day. I literally got up to eat some food after my nap and after watching a movie with Damon. And then we just hung out for a while before he had to go to work um, over FaceTime. And I've literally just been laying in bed watching Netflix because my body is just, I'm struggling y'all, I'm struggling. This is, yeah, I have a really hard time when I don't sleep well or when my sleep schedule gets messed up. So I was gonna just go to bed. I was like, oh, maybe I'll just shower and try to go to bed. I think I have some melatonin, usually that helps me sleep, but I decided that I need to go move my body. I literally, you can tell I've been laying in bed all day. But anyway, I decided I'm gonna go move my body. I'm just gonna head down to the gym and do some cardio for like 20, 30 minutes, I think, and then come back up and shower and get ready for bed. But I think it'll be better off. I just, yeah, my body is feeling all kinds of weird and just not feeling very great. So I think it will help to go walk and sweat it out a little bit and then I'll come back up and get ready for bed because my van pickup time is at 3.55 a.m. again. But I should be home after tomorrow. I don't, as of right now, they haven't tagged me with any extra flying. So hopefully I get to go home tomorrow and regroup a little bit and I go back on reserve for Sunday. But that's what I've got. I'm gonna go. These are the days that matter when you don't wanna go, you don't wanna get up and move your body. But I know that my future self, my tomorrow self, will be proud and happy that I went to the gym. Even when I'm on the treadmill, I always feel better. It's just literally getting down there, putting on gym clothes and going to the gym. So that's all I got. I'm gonna head down there. Bye. So I'm doing a little bit of interval training. I'm running or jogging, walking, jogging, walking, just to get my heart rate up a little bit and get done faster. <laughs> It is 3.30 in the morning and I am unwell. I am struggling today, but we have three flights and then hopefully we get to go home after that. We'll see. I have to be downstairs in 25 minutes, so I'm going to throw on my uniform and head downstairs for my van pickup. I'm headed downstairs. I'm gonna grab us a cup of coffee and my ice packs. All right, I just finished my pre flight. I'm working in the back again. This is a super short flight, it's gonna be like 30 minutes. So we're not doing service. I am gonna sit and read my book so that I can stay awake. And then after that, I have two flights, and then hopefully, I'm done. It's gonna be a long day, but we're getting through it. It's 4 15 in the morning and I should not be awake let me tell you but pre fly is done I am drinking a cup of coffee that I picked up from the hotel try and get some energy neither my other flight attendant or I slept long enough we're both not feeling great so we're trying to power through together it's, it's gonna be a good day gotta finish strong gotta finish strong right power through these are the days that <laughs> build us and shape us 
What doesn't kill you makes you stronger or something like that. <laughs> to eat some of my breakfast to go really quickly and I'm heading back over to my plane we've got like 45 minutes I think until our flight takes off we'll probably start boarding soon here but I'm heading back out and just trying to make it through honestly <laughs> I just had a muffin and a Nutri-Grain bar and I'm drinking some water. They also gave me an apple, but I'm saving that for later. I'm not super hungry, but I just wanted to get something in my system because I am doing a service for this flight. We are doing a Sun Valley turn. I think it's like an hour and a half. I'm gonna go check with the captain and see what our flight time is gonna be. But I'm still working in the back, so I know that we'll be doing, I'll be doing some cookies and drinks in the back and hopefully, prayerfully, I get to go home after this turn. Pretty tired, but trying to hang in there. I just showed you guys some clips of what I do typically setting up the back of my carts. So I get all of my drinks in order, get my coffee makers ready to go, get my snacks, whatever it is. In the morning we do Biscoff cookies, in the afternoon it's usually the vegan pretzels. And so I usually will get those unpackaged and ready to go so that when we are up in the air above 10,000 feet and we're allowed to start service, I'm pretty much ready to go. I could just brew the coffee once I'm up there, pour it into my little crafts and then start my service. to Sun Valley. We had about five minutes for them to clean the plane. We are turning around and headed back to Seattle and then hopefully I am done. Me and my other flight attendant are exhausted, exhausted, but we're gonna make it through this flight. Oh my gosh, I actually made it back to Seattle, you guys. I think I get to go home. Well, I just missed the employee shuttle, so I'm gonna hang out here until they come back and then that'll wrap up this trip. Oh, it's 11.50 and I get to go home, you guys. I'm so excited. Also, it just cracks me up because I definitely look like I've been up since 3 a.m. It just is so funny, the difference between night and day flying and the way that I get ready doing hair and makeup. It was a good trip. I'm just not used to a.m. So I try to have a good attitude and just, yeah, really glad that I get to go home. I have one more day of reserve tomorrow. But I think I'm gonna wrap up the vlog here. So as always, thank you so much for watching. Any questions, comments, leave them down below.